The pulse oximeter 3 can be turned on at the on off switch on the front and at the rear is the battery compartment which takes two AAA batteries to ensure they're in the correct orientation otherwise the device will not power up. Replace the battery cover and switch it on. You will notice that the finger cuff can accommodate small or larger fingers and you want to put the fleshy part of your finger over the red reading frame. The correct position for your hand is to have the heel of your hand flat on a surface in front of you and not to apply too much pressure on your finger within the cuff. The large number on the left is the blood oxygen saturation percentage. The smaller number is your heart rate. And there's a little bar that goes up on the right hand side. That is the indication of pulse intensity. Across the top is the pleths trace, which shows your heartbeat. And you can change the orientation of the screen by touching the on off button. On the dashboard, touch the pulse oximeter and choose the correct pulse oximeter 3 out of the three devices we have, then press next. The Bluetooth connection will ensure that the reading on the device is the same as the tablet, and you'll see the pleth trace at the bottom, and the indication of pulse intensity gives you an idea of how well circulated the blood is in your finger. You need to wait until the pleth trace is nice and even and with your other hand press the start button and you will have 15 seconds in which to take the reading. Keep still throughout and to get a consistent reading ensure your hands are nice and warm before you start and that you have been resting for at least a minute.